gonna do an early morning unboxing. Looks like a turbo, it says precision on the box. You hear that beautiful, sexy voice of Tevin's? <laughs> you hear his? Mine too, it's all we nice. We both and dark. got those deep voices this morning. Well, this is a turbo. <laughs> well, duh. Nice this is how box. we should have started the video. <laughs> oh, it's for Nan. <laughs> Precision. And they just mushed it always yep. in this foam stuff. Mm. She's sweet. Yeah, dude, that looks awesome. Holy cow. So, um, this guy's horsepower goal is 500 horsepower, which we should be able to make pretty easily. Um, we have some ID 1050X injectors on the way forward as well. Mm -hmm. Fuel rail, um, fuel pump, Haltec. Well, the Haltec's here. It's in the trunk. But uh, nice. Yeah. So we're gonna make 500 horsepower with this little puppy right here. So another cool thing about this turbo is it's just oil cooled. It's not water cooled. Oh really? Yeah. So that cuts down on your clutter a lot. You don't have to have lines coming off all four sides of the turbo. Mm -hmm. I need to get a drain line flange for it yet. And then I need to order whatever size this is for the oil feed. All right. Stay tuned for that. I'm excited. Big turbo going on this bad boy. And if you want service work, let us know. We'll get it done for you. All right, guys. So the. So, the blue slash green slash silver GTR is done. And I got some more explaining to do. This happens a lot, all right? So what happens is we're in the middle of doing this car and we have a certain mindset of what we're going to do to it. And then Chris sells the freaking thing. So uh, that's what happened. It's not Chris's fault though. I mean, if someone wants to buy a car, that's freaking awesome. Buy the car. So, um, yeah. But don't complain if you see it in the video and it's different from how we talked about it in the video because it changed here and there. Yeah. The customer, and Chris, and this is what we got. Yeah, but you also don't understand, like, they didn't know that what we were going to do with it. So I'm gonna show them. That is true. Yeah, so, um, CJ's buffed and polished it. We're, we're just uh, finishing up detailing it real quick. Um, after the cut and polish, the, uh, the color just explodes now. Uh, it's got way more depth and uh, the flop comes out a heck of a lot more now. Um, so you guys can see the green is, is pretty wild now. Uh, and then like it gets, it gets way darker blue if you look like across the, look like a man. If you look like a man. So if you, uh, if you like look across the trunk, it just the the depth of that blue really comes out now. So um, obviously silver RPF ones. We were gonna do the Panasports, um, and it definitely would have been um, period correct, but it was I think it was just too much. I think the uh, the gunmetal with the polished lip it was almost too flashy on this car when everything is kind of flashy already. Um, we got the side skirts mounted. These things are absolutely sick. Um, I love these side skirts. Engine bay is all detailed up. Just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you guys remember we had this entire motor out. Um, this car has all of the parts. Air Goose coilovers, HKS everything from turbos to intake to cams to um, intercooler. I mean, everything is HKS on this. Tons of defi gauges, Recaro seats, Momo steering wheel. The interior of this thing is just really cool. Um, it's got a cage. So what we were going to do, now here's here's where the ex, oh yeah, we changed out the hood lashes too because those looked awful. They were like just polished. So we swapped them out for some black boys. Um, what we need to explain is where we were going to go with this car. Um, come on, Josh. So, so the plan was we were going to do a full livery on this car. Um, but the real plan is, what do you want for Chick Fil A? Ooh, ooh, ooh! I'll get my order in in a second. Um, 
So, <laughs> we were going to do a full livery on this car. Um, it's got tons and tons and tons of performance parts on this one. Um, so we wanted to live up to that. And this, this two-tone that we did, we were going to play into that with a livery. Um, so, along all the black here, like if you look at some of the old like 90s race, like the Calsonic GTR, the HKS GTRs, the old road racing cars, um, that just like kind of very simple block letter um, racing inspired uh, liveries. That's what we were going to do to this. So you're going to have matte black um, logos and big like HKS Brembo, Cusco, because it's got a ton of Cusco stuff. Um, and it's like all wrapped around the silver. And then we were going to, I have a matching silver vinyl to this silver paint that we did. Then we were going to do some door card stuff. Um, I think it really would have tied this thing together. I think it would have looked awesome. Uh, the new owner is going to love it. I think we're not selling it on the RPF ones. I think he wants the uh, LMGT fours, but it looks way better on the RPF ones. And I hate RPF ones. Like personally, everybody has them. RPF every ones. I don't like them. But on this car, it's perfect. So. Wait, so we're not selling it on this. Huh? No, apparently not. I don't, man, I don't know. This is the problem. Nobody knows. I know, I understand. Ed knows, probably. Do you know what's happening? We're having it on these wheels for our promotional pictures, our videos, all of that. And then he wants these RPF, or not RPF. LMGT4s. He, he wants the LMGT4s, or he does not want the RPF ones. Word. So but that's it. That's what's happening. So there's the let us explain part two because of this guy. It's his fault. You have no idea, like when the red when we built the red GTR, we literally had to like tie him down in a chair for like four months while we built that thing and be like, you can't sell this car. You can't sell this car. You can't sell this car. And he didn't sell the car before we finished it. Yeah, which is pretty amazing because yeah. like normally that that's what happens is like we get the car We're like, oh sweet. We're gonna make it sick and then someone buys it and it's like we have to make it the way They want it, but the red one we were able to just yeah, I mean like this I think I think the livery would have been really cool on this Obviously, it's removable and the paints in really good condition You're not gonna mess up the paint like that if you use good vinyl lay it on right You're not gonna mess anything up. It can always be removed uh, but Just like plastic dip, right? Huh? <laughs> but, but no, I think I think the livery would have really set this thing apart. Um, but it's a really rad car. Like it looks awesome now. So um, yeah, that's it. There's your explanation.